Hi Scorpio, welcome, welcome back. This is a reading for Scorpio Sun, Moon and Rising. You might find though that this resonates more if Scorpio is your Moon or your Rising sign. Okay, okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles and what's so interesting is how in this deck we have all of these people holding hands around this tree, like some sort of ceremony. I actually, I'm <laughs> just a heads up, this might be a bit of like a woo-woo reading. If that's not your thing, you might want to check back for the next one, um, but this feels I don't know something's going on it's something very interesting but this is making me feel imagine um you've gone to say another planet or I don't know if, if it helps to ground it you're watching a sci-fi show and a spaceship's landed and they're on this other planet and these people are performing some kind of ritual that we don't have here on earth and I don't mean anything crazy or spooky or weird just you know we have our traditions here on earth we celebrate different holidays like at Christmas we, we bring in we cut down trees and we bring them in the house I mean that might seem bizarre to other people you know um or, or some alien form visiting our planet but it's that kind of thing it's almost like I feel we're watching some kind of um, a tradition a holiday a ritual a practice um, that we don't participate in here on earth um, okay six of swords reversed yeah so that's that's going back somewhere this is incredible. This is fascinating. I wonder if wherever your souls are from, and I have a strong feeling that both you and the person you're here for, if you're resonating as starseed, you probably come from the same planet or place. Your souls originate from the same place. So it's almost like on a soul level, you both at some point or another in time have participated in whatever this ceremony is or it's familiar to you or it brings back fond memories or feelings and I'm wondering if there's something about the timing the reason this reading is coming through now maybe it's the particular time of year when this would happen if time is even measured in years you know wherever you're from um or there's something about if it's not something that happens every um year month whatever it is if it's almost like um there was uh, <sighs> How can I explain it? Um, you know how in astrology, and I don't really know anything about astrology, so bear with me, that there are certain things that happen and it's like every 20 years or every whatever amount of years, but quite vast periods of time. It's not something that happens regularly or often. I feel like it's maybe that kind of thing. Like it's a big deal. It's, it's this time that's coming around and it was, what's the word? Not predestined. Um, like maybe it's something that happens not very often or sometimes it won't even happen within the span of a person's lifetime or it was foretold that it would happen but I don't mean that in like a someone channeled the message but there's no tangible evidence I mean like um if we were talking about astronomy and we're looking at the stars and the comets and stuff and and the you know astronomers are saying okay well in x many hundreds of or billions of years whatever this comet is going to explode and then this will happen you know like that sort of thing like <laughs> my god ah the beings on this planet knew this was going to happen um at this particular time and it's almost like it was fact there was proof there was evidence and now it's time if you see what i mean wow i don't know if you do because i barely know but this is very interesting <laughs> Ooh, okay look at that the lovers wow and it does look like they're on this sort of interesting terrain that we don't really have here on earth it's making me think of um where's red is it, is it mars or like um the moon isn't red is it? it's like that gray kind of color i don't know um okay on this depiction of the lovers we've got the lotus flower death rebirth we know the lovers talk, can talk about incredibly high vibrational soul connections souls who reincarnated together across lifetime after lifetime after after lifetime so there could their heart your person's higher self could be bringing you some kind of um message about now is the time some big event is happening it's happening between your higher selves or in the spiritual realm or in this place of or you know where your souls were birthed your your soul's place of origin and it's going to impact you perhaps here on the 3d that might be something that we're seeing here the hanged man reversed exactly it's like now's the time we have um gemini we've got pisces
Three of Cups. And look, we've got the cycles of the moon here. Something about cycles. And again, Three of Cups, we have, you know, that, that talks about a group of people. They're on the same page. Usually they're celebrating something together. And this is coming out under the Ten of Pentacles. There is some kind of celebration, that, um, some kind of moment that's being marked, I think, as I said, wherever, whichever planet, whichever star system you both originally are from. And it's something positive, it's something that's being celebrated, it's not like an end of days, doom and gloom sort of thing, it's, it's something that people maybe have been exciting, um, people have been excited for and eagerly anticipating. We have the Ace of Swords reversed. The Tower, see, look at this. And this is a fantastic empowered Tower card. You know, we've got this tiny person here falling off, and I always feel like this is the previous version of, of this woman here. Like, she's come forward bigger, stronger, more confident within herself. She's unapologetic now. Um, it's it's um, a self-induced tower, and it's not one that takes from us. It's one that's, um, what if it is taking? It's taking limitations away. It's taking away this tiny, fearful outer shell, um, any inauthenticity. I mean, of course, you know, we've got the lovers here, and I'm talking about this momentous occasion after lifetimes together. For some of you, um, if you do resonate as being on a twin flame journey, I, you know, I wonder if there's something monumental that's going to happen now in this lifetime, whenever you find this reading. Um, but if it's not that, if you don't resonate as being a twin, I would still say you've had <laughs> an incredible journey with this person across a huge span of time. Um, so much has happened for you both. Um, and I feel you've played many different roles in the 3D for one another. Okay, and how I feel this is, um, this information is being received by your person's 3D self is through dreams. Um, I just get that feeling, I wonder if we'll get confirmation, and I don't think they really understand what the dream's telling them. Maybe they wake up and they can't even properly remember the dream, it's hazy, and they're just left with a feeling, but it's like they know something big is going on. And actually, I'm saying dreams, look at that, the High Priestess reversed. It's not really a dream, I think it's their higher self communicating with them, and maybe even um, your soul family, who is still on this planet or in this place of origin, communicating with your person's higher self, maybe even your higher self as well. Um, yeah, okay. What I was going to say, and I didn't because I can't remember details and I don't you know, I always thought that was the point of saying something sometimes if <laughs> it's just a bunch of ifs, maybes, I'm not sure, but it does feel relevant. There is, um, there's a group of souls, I cannot remember which group, see, that's, that's when it becomes very unhelpful, but there is a group of souls who agreed to incarnate on Earth almost to report back to the place of origin, um, nothing, to, not to do anything weird, but um, I guess just sending information across, like, okay, this is what happens on Earth, this is the state of affairs, this is what's going on, this is how human beings live, you know, almost like um, they've come to Earth to gather research, that sort of thing. Um, and I wonder if there's something going on here where one or both of you are doing this and you're kind of sending it back unconsciously to your, you know, your people in, in wherever you're, you're from, so you've got this open line of communication, but it's not conscious. Um, but something, something's intensifying. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Mm. Yeah, it's not grounded yet. It hasn't manifested yet. Okay, so I think we get the idea then of why this is coming through now and what the higher self of your person is wanting you to know. So let's see if we can find out anything more about what this sort of occasion, event, ceremony is, how it's going to affect both of you in the 3D. Okay. 
I am seeing the four of wands reversed. So, you know, um, it could be individual structures, some social structures you're noticing breaking down, changing. It could be both you and your person questioning the way things are, the way you've been doing things and suddenly saying, okay, why is it that I'm doing it this way? You could be noticing in the community or the society around you, people are starting to wake up to certain things and question them or um, ask, okay, is there a better way of doing this or should we get rid of doing this altogether? Okay. So how is this going to impact my viewer and their person in the 3D, please? What will this mean? Yeah. Queen of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Reverse. I think there are going to be changes to, oh, it could look like um, relationships, whether they're romantic, familial friendships, um, work situations, ways of working. Um, I'm hearing a return to something, a return to the earth. So I don't know if for some of you, it's about connecting more with the earth, trying to live in a greener way or going off grid or something, um, or just really questioning and asking, um, I remember I was having a conversation with um, my tattoo artist after like hour three of him doing this tattoo for me and he was saying his opinion is that we have come like we've forgotten how to live essentially as humans we're too focused on money and all of that and actually he thinks our concern should primarily be um, you know hunting and gathering whether that's you know we're talking animals or, or growing crops so so finding food shelter you know like the basics um and i wonder if there's something here where i'm not saying that you want to go back to that level of like um you know that sort of intense day-to-day -day survival living but just thinking okay how how is it we've become so detached or thinking about things like how we have say um medications and things that we have art artificially grown or formed to help with those certain things or that we use for certain things but very often there's the, the natural equivalent that we find in nature and thinking okay well why is it why don't we just stick to the natural thing why did we bother creating this whole artificial thing when nature can provide just as well or this thing from nature does the same job do you know what i mean like just sort of thinking about those things maybe but anyway whatever is going away and making space for this new thing to be unearthed it's a good positive change not just that you're both experiencing on a soul level in terms of your higher selves but that you're experiencing here in the 3d as well you know we've got this tower it's self a self-made self-imposed tower and it's she's coming out she's fantastic she's so unapologetic which is just the best thing as far as i'm concerned um and then we have the the oak oh, i've decided it's an oak tree i don't know why maybe it's not even but i don't know if an oak tree has a special meaning or message for you that you might want to look up but it's turned on its head and we've got all of these vibrant roots coming out so something that's been growing something that's been um it's been it has been invested in over time but but unseen to maybe you, to everyone else in the 3D, and it's time to see whatever this is. It's, it's, it's this breakthrough, it's this death, this rebirth with the lotus flower here. It's a coming together. It's something is changing, something that's being celebrated by your soul tribe, and your higher selves know it, and you're both going to benefit from it in the 3D as well. And um, it's been a long time coming, I think. Yeah, look at this. Ten of Wands reversed. Things that have been... Um, just not working, just not working. Whether it's, as I said, maybe for a collective, for you as individuals, you have the Six of Pentacles. Okay, King of Wands. What does this mean, please, in a 3D sense? Look at that, Ten of Pentacles reversed, and we've got the Emperor reversed. Um, okay, interesting. Five of Wands. I just heard this is hitting the Divine Masculine more. Now, of course, if you do resonate with being a twin, you're maybe going to be more comfortable with that term or know exactly what I'm meaning by it. But if you're not resonating as being a twin, um, I think what we could be looking at here is the Divine Masculine energy that we all have. We all have feminine, we all have masculine. Um, and there's something about, you know, and I feel like this is why the message is coming via your person's higher self, because most of you watching will feel that it's your person maybe who's in the more Divine Masculine energy, whether you feel that they're your twin or not. But, um, so some kind of change to how specifically your person here, but also more broadly, I think the collective, 
is dealing with, processing, carrying, interpreting, living with divine masculine energy. There's some upheaval, there's some change, and it's very positive. So, hmm. There's more balance, six of pentacles. Some people will obviously struggle and have an issue with it, with the five of wands. Obviously, you know, change can be scary. Some people like how things are, so they, they'll push back against it. Queen of pentacles, king of wands. It's this interesting balance because this queen of pentacles specifically, we've got the mother and then we've got the baby and they're in this period of rest. The The mother here is looking very vigilant, but it's not like they're about to get up and, and go on an adventure. Um, and then we have it paired with this King of Wands and this snake is sort of reared up. It's ready for action. Wands anyway is that fire energy. So ordinarily, that this would seem kind of an incompatible energy, but I almost feel a protective edge coming from this King of Wands. I don't know, it feels like instead of fighting against, we're working together. Um, divine masculine working oh my god I feel like I'm oh, mm, okay so obviously when I'm talking about the energies I'm not talking about men and women just the energies we all have both but there is something about it's like I was saying the conversation I was having with my tattoo artist about getting back to basics the divine masculine energy being the pursuer being the protector not trying to control or dominate the emperor reverse would try and dominate the divine feminine energy being nurturing protective um just creating that safe space and and what i really don't want anyone to be hearing from me right now is the man will protect the woman will nurture no 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 no. we all have masculine and feminine energy and i'm sorry if i keep repeating i just want to be extra clear i'm not trying to force anyone into any kind of outdated roles or whatever or any roles they don't resonate with um, so it could even be like within the individual. Let's take a person, for example, as this message is coming really via them and their higher selves. Let's say their own divine masculine energy has not been a protective, assertive force that's been working for them and with them. It's been strangling and cutting off their own divine feminine energy. And your person has been looking at their own divine feminine energy and saying, no, 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 no. This more subtle, receptive, intuitive, nurturing energy. I don't like it because society tells us we like logic, we don't like emotion. Even though we can sort of almost logically look at emotions as just being a guidance system. We don't have to get overly emotive and emotional about them. You know, I don't know. Anyway, but it's, it's something about balance and working together. So the divine masculine and the feminine within the individual actually working together, appreciating the two energies, not trying to strangle and cut one off um, or being afraid of the other. Maybe the feminine energy being afraid of the masculine energy within the individual. But also, you know, there's no doubt that this will have affected the interaction between you and your person and how they've been showing up and in some way how you've been showing up um, within this interaction, maybe playing off of their energy or... I don't know, trying to make room for each other, trying to find a way, trying to find comfortable positions next to each other. Is This is really... <laughs> I don't know why I'm finding this difficult to explain, but I am a bit. But there's just something about coming into balance together within the individual, maybe even the wider community starting to, to come more into balance and appreciating the benefits of healthy divine masculine and healthy divine feminine energy working harmoniously and how we need different energies at different times um depending on what we're doing depending on where we are in life you know all of those things um okay where do we go from here? Um, let me see. I don't think messages is going to help. Um, guidance and advice. I don't think so. Let, well, let me just see. Let me just see if there's anything else to come through then. Let's 
Is there anything else, please? Any final messages for my viewers? The Hanged Man. Yeah, I think it's about now being observant, waiting and seeing how this energy translates for you, what this actually means for you. Um, noticing these shifts in your life or maybe even in your connection with your person and how that's shifting at this time. Being observant, gathering information around you, not feeling like you've got to do anything um, just yet. See, look, that Ace of Pentacles that, that was reversed, it's manifesting. It's it's This energy is going to ground and it's going to become something that's visible, something that brings forward actual change and opportunities that you can see. And with the Seven of Swords reversed, it's that thing, it's that unearthing. We're bringing forward the truth. You know, this Tower card here, she's not... Um, what would you call it? She's not wearing this this mask anymore that sort of reduces her or minimizes her or hides her away. She's saying, this is who I am. And um, I don't know, deal with it, I guess, you know? Um, so something's being uncovered. Something's being unearthed. This is a change that's coming from a super powerful place. It's coming from your soul's place of origin. Um, your soul tribe is seriously celebrating right now, channeling messages through to your person's higher self who is channeling messages across to you. Maybe you're also receiving messages through your higher self. Um, so I guess, yeah, I guess wait and see. Wait and see what, what unfolds here. Um, feels like a pretty big deal though, to be honest. Okay, so I will leave this here. I hope this has made some kind of sense to you or if it hasn't that, you know, soon um you'll you'll be able to sort of see what's going on and, and put the pieces together but this has definitely been a different reading um and if you stuck with it thank you so much if this wasn't your cup of tea and you signed off well you've obviously gone already but <laughs> either way whether you are here or not hopefully i will see you again soon bye